Hi, um, today I'm going to paint uh, some parrots. I've never painted parrots before, so it's something new for me. But I'm also going to do it in a different way. I want to do it very boldly and very, with lots of big strokes and lots of colour. And I'm going to enjoy myself and just the act of painting rather than just copying everything. So if you might look at this here, these are the, the parrot pictures. I don't know where they came from, to be honest. I, uh, one of my students said that she, she had some pictures of parrots. She thinks they might have came from the internet. I'm not certain about the permission about using them, but uh, I do like them. I'm going to change them quite a lot. I'm going to put this parrot to this side, this parrot here, and that parrot this side. I've got a big canvas here. Um, I bought it for two pounds in a boot fair. And I don't think by covering over what is existing, I'm going to cover up anything particularly valuable. I hope not, anyway. But I'm going to use this. It's, I quite like the idea of having something on the canvas to start with, because you get the uh, you get the feeling if it's a white canvas, you're going to say, "How am going to start this? You know, what am I going to do? Am I going to ruin a white canvas?" When well, there's something on it, somehow it doesn't matter quite so much. So now I'm going to look at the kind of tone structure. These are the paints I've laid out. Um, plenty of paint. So we need it, I'm going to use a big brush and I'm going to start to look at the big, big area. So I'll put the old glasses on and um, this, this thing here is a palette that keeps the acrylic, which is what I'm painting with today, the, the, the acrylic wet. And what's amazing is that I put some paints on this three months ago, put the lid on it, and when I took the lid off this, this morning, it was still wet. I could still use it. The problem was it had gone mouldy, but I could still use it. So anyway, we're going to we're going to put some uh, a colour on this thing. I'm going to use a, a sort of ultramarine blue, I think, and that's um, cobalt blue here. I'm going to going to start on something. Now, the most important thing about the whole of this picture is where to put that piece of wood. And if it's too high or too low, I'm not going to get the tail in. I'm not going to get enough information. The, the actual proportions are about the right kind of proportions, but I need to keep the tail must be there. I think I'm going to put this this here. If it's too high or too low, I'm going to have too much space up here, or on the head, not going to work properly. So we just we just put that there as a, as a as a, something that they can all stand on. Um, you've got uh, this this parrot here. I want some space at the top. Um, it's nice and splashy. Uh, I want some paste at the top. This, this bird comes out here, down, and this wonderful tail which comes down here somewhere. And the claw. Is that the right proportion? Yeah. <laughs> God, painting my little stuff. Um, I'm going to put this bird here. This one, and against it. So uh, you've got a shape here, uh, and the wood bead, the beak. Also, I've got to have this one here. So I've got to know exactly where that makes it like too. So I'm moving the composition around quite a lot. So, 
That's the three birds. I now know how big I've got to be. The tails get in mainly. I know where that's going to go. I'm going to, I know that that, that, and that are on a quite interesting shape. So we'll, we'll fill some, fill some colours in. Uh, I've got a whole lot of green here. I'll put that in here. Um, this is the phthalo blue, which I can't like phthalo blue. It's very, very dark and strong. That in there. Great stuff for acrylic because you've got a drying time which is fairly limited, but at least it's there. Comes across there's, there's the piece of wood. I want to finish it there, I think. Piece of wood there. Um, it's quite, quite limited, the, the, the drying time, but it, there is, it is, it is the time you can actually move paint around with. There's. Fine, finished. <laughs> now, I've got to paint the birds themselves, so I changed this brush over because it's a bit full of paint. And we've got some red just mixed up. This is just a very primitive red colour which will tell me where the red's got to go. It's the wrong colour. Let's change it and we'll make it into magenta here. Let's put some more water with this stuff. Not for the faint heart of this, you've got to, get, you've got to move paint around quickly for this kind of painting. Um, that's probably not the right colour still, but it's better. Um, that's red on there. Actually, the right colour is almost the colour as was it painted it originally. There's a lovely tail there. This bird is, dark, is darker. Um, we'll put that in as a shape. It's very dark in there, and then the feet go across onto there, and then that's that's pretty dark in there, but it's still red, reddish. All right, I'm going to I'm going to add some white for this. I'm going to put some, some white with some of this colour, so it's a bit pinker. That will give me a, a chance to get some things working here. The beak goes there. The beak in this one is dark so but it's still lighter here. Now this this one here has got it's got a light beak there, a white face. Let's put this twig in. Right, we'll um, add some white to some of this paint here and get some lighter blues just to, just to brighten up some of the, some of the areas. And to, there's, I want that up there so that it comes in, it's not off the, paint, off the canvas there. at all about drawing at this stage, it's almost not necessary because um, you you can move it. You don't want to spend hours drawing something and find some wrong place. Um, Thank you. 
of the kitchen tower, tower really. Just to, just to stop from being too thick. What's that does? Doesn't matter what you what you paint it at all, and as long as you are getting the right kind of proportions. That's actually a rubber brush, and it's a it's, it's a solid rubber. There's no there's no hairs on it at all, and I can draw this like I could with a with a with a pen if you like. Um, I can draw with where things sort of can go um, and make it make a leaf make a mark where I want things to be. And this is really a question of marking things where I feel they ought to go. There's no paint there, so I can't. It's got to have paint on it. Um, you might have heard in the background, my little friend, the canary. It, it starts, and it's okay for five minutes, but it does actually make a little noise. So I'll just have a little word with my canary friend and put him somewhere so he won't make the noise. Come on, little one. It's very pretty, but it's very noisy. There we go. Right, where have we, where have we got to? Um, yeah, we've got to Let me just do this so I can see it easy. There's a, there's a... This, this is easier now. See, I'm taking off paint. This, this is comes, comes out there. Comes sweeping down here. Very distinctive beats, very strong distinctive beats. There we go. And this comes down here and then sweeps up. Comes down, sweeps up, and comes right round. So you've got one load of feathers there, a load of blue feathers. I've got to put the blue feathers in because they're definitely there. They can then cover up, cover up this thing. So we've got. What's interesting is that that comes there. This will cover up the perch, if you like. And come out again, so that will be breaking up this area. So we just we just take this off just for a second here. Okay. Where are we got to? Um, now this this part here, which is quite something. The eye. Okay, that's just made a few more marks that help me. So, the next stage then is to get this blue, this lovely blue colour. What colour is it? It's, it's a very odd colour. I don't think I'm going to get it very easily. Let's try it with a shallow blue. It's not light, it's not red enough. Let's try that blue. Cerulean. That's not red enough either. Let's put a bit of red in it and see what happens. With that. It's an almost phosphorescent blue, or fluorescent blue, rather phosphorescent, fluorescent blue. Anyway, let's just start something. Anyway, this, this, this comes down here. We've got it, the, the feather structure here. It's not the right colour. It's only one tone. I'll just put some feathers in so I know where they're going to go. This come, they come right down here. They come right down here. There's one big feather. This kind of angle. There, and that kind of angle there, that one there. So this comes up further there. Okay. Um, comes up on this, and there's a row. 
row of feathers here and a row of feathers here and one that goes up the back here. So in this stage, all I'm doing is correcting things, moving, moving paint around to correct things. The, um, I might as well put the, the, the eye in and have a bit more of the, of the beak so I know where everything's going to go there. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to flap around with some more colours on this, just filling things out. So I don't want to uh, waste too much time with the video at the moment. I'm going to spend another 10 minutes, half an hour on it, just moving some more colours around and we'll, we'll see you in a minute. In order to get the depth here, this dark area here, I mix some magenta and some ultramarine blue and it produces some very nice, a very nice colour. And I can then redraw, if you like, uh, the, the structure here. Get, get, some, get some dark colour, a bit more, perhaps a bit more blue with that. Um, and and, and the, bird, the actual birds, uh, there's a bit here, and there's a, certainly a bit there, which takes this feather sound. And there's this, um, comes down here, and then the structure comes, that's the wing going out of the page, right? So we will put that wing, wing in there, and then the, the leg comes here. I've moved this slightly up. I haven't done very much since the last, last show you, um, but I've moved it up because <coughs> it was too far down, so I've moved it up about an inch. And I'm going to put um, these, this, this leg in here. So it comes, whereabouts does that leg come? It's about there, come on the shoulder, it comes down here, right? It's there, and it cl clips around this, it clips around the, no, not the, that's better. Um, let's just put, push this, uh, let's just put some white here, certainly some white here. Uh, that's quite dark. This is, this is light, lighter on top here. We'll put that light there. So all the time, all the time I'm working on light and dark bits. So you've got this, this is um, the shape. It comes around here. It's a bit, a bit confusing. And there's a wing there. And this comes down here. And then this is very dark in here. So you've got the, the leg here here and the claws come here so right so that's very dark so we've got to make that very dark let's take the paint off with kitchen towel very useful 
I'm going to put some black with this. I don't like using black. I've never used black. The impressionist didn't use it, so that's a nice shift. But in this case, it's very dark, so I'm going to try and see what black will do. And it's, it sort of works in a way. And let's put that in. This is, this, is very, this is very dark, it's very dark in there. Almost, almost, it is almost black. Really. And I can breathe through all this leg here. Originally, I put this tail there, it doesn't come there, it can't come there, it's got to come right over, so it's, it's got this angle here, so this is where the tail is. Oh, well, perhaps I did put it there. <laughs> I'm getting slightly metal up myself now. Um, let's put uh, this, there's, there's a green bit behind, as, as a space behind there, then this, this feather comes down like that, that that's, that's it. We'll just lighten this up at the top here. And we're just getting muddy. Oh, I don't want to get muddy. I've got to get nice and light colours on this because they are light colours. The only thing you don't want to get in that's all muddy. You notice that I'm on painting. I'm using a bit of a, I, I use a colour and then I use it, where else can I put that colour? I don't sort of worry about um, where, where one bit is. I, I look at it and say, where else can I use this colour? What else can I use the painting I'm using here and, 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 and use it to some advantage? And in this case, I'm looking all the time at, at areas and, and moving the same colour around as I'm choosing, so it's quite useful that. Literally, literally saying and correcting and saying that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. And just sort of sorting out various things I want to, to get in right and, and putting them. But the, the, the most important thing is to get the the tone structure. So the so the, I want all this light here and this very dark. And you can't do that unless you're quite strong and with yourself and say this is definitely very dark, let's put it in. That's a very dark area. Um, what I might do is to add some colours to this, greens and various things, but at the moment all I want to do is to just to fill up the spaces with the dark, dark shapes that I need to make the picture work, so, and then we can correct it later on. Is that net too thick? It doesn't look a bit thick. The only thing I've got to do now really is to, is to, is to redraw it, to, to look at things in a different way. I'm going to use a, a thin brush, a small brush here, and just redraw some of these things so I know exactly where I'm going to add some more colour to this, because what I like is all these sort of blobs through it, all those abstract blobs. But in order to get that, I, know, I now have to change a bit what I've done, but I know the tonal structure's right, because this is very strong in colour, and I want to add these bits to it. So I'll just keep adding colour until I think, say, well, that's, that's light enough, that's dark enough, and then, and then redraw it. And that will be my next stage. I've worked on this for about an hour. I've made a lot of this darker. 
um, adds more colour here, and really it's just a question of getting colours almost straight out of the tube, and <laughs> put them on a great flare if you like. And, uh, and it's in a, in a way it sort of works because the tonal structure works. This is this is the right kind of colour. This is the right kind of depth of a tone. And because it's dark and light, it produces the three dimensions. It's not. It's, this is the one bit that would be the hardest part of order to, because uh, in order to understand how this comes forward, you really have to keep placing the colours behind the, in this case, the parrot, in order to know how light that has to be. So I've added lots of more colours on it and really all that's left to do is to look at it and say how much do I need on this picture uh, to finish it in the way that I want it to be finished. Is it going to be very detailed or is it going to be creatively painted if you like with lots of brush strokes. So the brush strokes become important and I think in this case because of the images are quite small I need to put a bit more detail on it, but not a lot, just enough to explain some of these things so they are a bit flat looking. Um, what's, what I'm going to do now is finish it with, with this. There we go, with this. What's it say? Polyfiller. <laughs> it's a joke. But um, you can use polyfiller with acrylic because you can build up huge densities of, and the thickness of paint by using polyfilly, but it is in this case a joke. <laughs> but so we start. So uh, uh, we've got to look at um, this bird. Uh, this is the, uh, sorry, this is the one here. So we put it there, so we can look at it. There, 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 there. And say, what do I need on there to make it more detailed? So, in fact, it needs a bit more drawing. Um, the, uh, just to co correct some of this, because it's not right, this is slightly different shape there. This eye is definitely there, but it's slightly different in, in shape from what I've done. The, uh, this, this is very different there, but that's better. Um, so what, 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 what's really happening is that I am redrawing it again. It's very light, it's meant to make it lighter. A little bit, all blue. There we go. And uh, we're drawing some of these, these lines that create the face. That's too light. That will push that back. Um, this is this is a light bit. This is again. So really, it's a question of of uh, redrawing, uh, re restating, if you like, the the lines of this little parrot's face. With this is probably too light here now. Um, probably is, but I'll just leave it for a second. Look at this brush. I mean, look at it. I'm a professional artist, and look at that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> dreadful. Well, I can't find another small brush this morning, so I'll have to use this. Um, such an amateur. Right, let's, let's just do a bit more of this. Eyes oh, comes here. And then looking at the tone 
the structure and saying, right, this is this is darker, this is lighter, whatever, to make the final final painting work. Go up into there. Quite a complicated face, um, not not straightforward as it looks when you first see it. It's quite complicated. This is got to be darker there. It's probably darker here. Let's make it darker. A bit more blue. Or over and decide it a bit, a bit more purple. So we've got a, a bit of a dark shape here and we'll put it underneath there. That's better. bit at the end because it doesn't exist in the picture. I think it's quite dark actually. We'll put it dark anyway. Let's take a chance of this going right. Now I'm going to stop. And I need to probably spend a few a couple of hours just working out where these feathers are coming in, just a bit more detail, so I, I've got more uh, control over the, the blobs, if you like. And if I bring up all the birds' faces up to this, this kind of finish, um, it'll work. There's the claws to do, uh, one or two feathers are still not really worked out. Here's not very good, it's, this is a wing coming down here. This is still not working tonally here, it's got to be darker, darker in there. Just one or two bits more drawing in there, just enough to, to give it um, the strength that I know it needs. So basically, it's finished, apart from titivating, which is far too long to take on the video. So, <laughs> I'll leave it now and um, show it to you when I've finished it. Well, I've finished it. It's taken me eight hours, which I'm surprised at because I thought it was going to take only a few hours to do it. The problem was mainly is the fact that I'm painting something which is one-fifth the size of the canvas I'm painting on. And that has difficulties because things like the eyes and the feather structure and the, and the claws and things haven't got a lot of detail. And when you make them five times bigger, you've really got to make up a lot. So. Uh, I have made it quite loose. The whole painting is quite loose. It's, it's all it's a bit flamboyant, if you like. I've used magenta, as I said earlier, and uh, cobalt blues, and cerulean blues. And cerulean blues are great for what I wanted because they almost exactly copy what I have in front of me for the parrots. I think it works quite well because the, when you look at this original picture here, it's the parrots going over, out of the page, which is a bit of a shame, really. This is very interesting, but it does, when you put it there, and put this parrot here, and that one here, it balances the whole thing. These two parrots are interacting with this shape, if you like. Also, the shapes, we're talking about shapes, are very interesting throughout. This, is, this divides the canvas up rather well. And the composition, Ben six by that. So, it's finished. All I have to do now is to sign it. And it's another one for my collection. <laughs> so, I've got my glasses on. I, I can't see that glasses on. It's, it's, it's an age related. And I'll just sign it up just here. Here we go. Luckily, it's only a short name. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the demonstration. I've certainly enjoyed doing it. Thank you.